Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I am going to show you how to found object or how to navigate in the model tree or to check the parameters. You know that it's possible to open with Creo View the native Creo data or neutral data, for example, step file or IGS file, and depends about the license if it is Creo View Express or directly Creo from the Windchill side. And then you can open the PDF files or the native uh, Creo drawings. Today I like to focus on the 3D model tree and on the left hand side you can see that this 3D window or primary panel you can close and open and you can better navigate. And what does it mean? For example, you would like to found some object. It's really easy because over here is the function find and you can find, for example, impeller. And if you will select enter, the system will show you the impeller. If you would like to find a frame, for example, I will select the enter or hit enter and the system will show me the frame. You can close and then you can use the transformation or you can use the different kind of the selection, what you need. You can isolate Einheim and so on like I haven't explained to you in the previous tutorial. Yeah. Uh, another possibility is that you have a really huge assembly and you would like to filter the model tree. So you can use the filter function here. And for example, I'd like to found the object which are matching. And for example, we can found object the bolt here. Yeah? So I will use the function bolt and if I will confirm OK, the system will show me in the model tree only the bolt or screw nuts or what you would like to say. Yeah, and what you would like to select. And then you can select, manipulate, hide, isolate, show or relocate. If you would like to switch off, it's OK. You can confirm and the system will again show you all information directly in the model tree. Please check the another possibility what is included in this view and for example you can see that system will auto automatically transform the views from the Creo side or you can work with the annotation more about the markup annotation I will show you later and now I'd like to focus on additional information or additional windows you can see here that it is possible to see the additional panels or information. So for example, if you would like to see the explode state from the Creo, you can simply the work with this view or you can open here the lower data panel or use the function F7. And for what is it good? That you would like to see, for example, the parameters from the 3D model. So if you will select the frame, for example, the system will show you a lot of parameters which are included directly in 3D model. If you will select uh, another object, the system will write to you the comments, value, category, names, and all this stuff. So it's really useful, for example, if you work with Winchell system and you need to know more if the actual state or the life cycle and so on. So in this tutorial, I have been explained to you how to navigate with the model tree, how to found object and how to found and work with the attributes directly for the 3D models. I hope so that you like this video tutorial. So please leave the comment on the video, share the video and have a nice time. Bye bye. Vladimir.